Now, the XXL Freshman cover of 2018 just got released and I think we got a lot of things to talk about. So without wasting any time because I know you got shit to do, let's take a look at the cover. Now right here in front of us we have the XXL cover of 2018 and as you can see there's one thing right here that might look a little bit weird or odd and that's the fact that there's only 9 people on the cover. So this happened because Lil Skies was actually the 10th artist who was gonna be on the cover but if you haven't heard the news, about 2 months ago Skies went on social media and announced that he personally had declined to be on it and then after he declined they asked Rich the Kid to be on it but Rich the Kid also declined because he didn't want to be a replacement for anybody and yeah that's exactly why there's only 9 people on the cover when really there's supposed to be 10. But anyway going back to the list let's look at every single artist on here and then after I'm done talking about everyone on it I'll give my overall thoughts on the cover. So let's start with this guy right here Jid or J-I-D doesn't really matter how you say it. Now I just can't tell you how happy I was once I found out that Jid was actually on the cover. 100% let me make it clear from the start, this is hands down the best artist on the cover in my personal opinion. I mean as far as straight up artistry, talent and skill goes, this is the person who I'm putting my money on. I think a lot of people saw it coming. The possibility of Jid being on the cover was extremely high. He's been putting in a lot of work into his craft. He dropped a super dope project that was nothing but fire from top to bottom. So yeah, I'm very happy about Jid being on the cover. But let's move on to the next artist which is Smoke Perp. Now I don't think it is a secret that Smoke Perp was gonna be on the cover. I even predicted this in the video I made about the XXL freshman class a couple months back. Obviously Smoke Perp is one of the more popping new wave rappers. He's dropped a couple bangers that have gone viral on social media and yeah he's the perfect example of what a new rapper sounds like nowadays. But Smoke Perp is really just uh he's alright he's just there. Funny enough I actually think that he's a better rapper than Lil Pump who's also on the list and I will get to him later but I'm really not even gonna take it further than that because I really don't have have a lot to say about Smoke Perp as an artist. Yes, he has a couple bangers, but to me, that's just about it. But let's move on to the next one, which is Steflon Don. Now, I'm not gonna sit here in front like I know anything about Steflon Don. Obviously, I've heard a couple tracks from her and I have seen her name floating around social media, but to keep it all the way real, I don't think most people are too familiar with Steflon Don unless you're from the UK. Honestly, I don't even think putting Steflon Don on the cover was uh, necessary at all. As you probably noticed, yes, she is the only female artist on the cover and that's exactly where the issue lies here because I feel like they only put her on the cover because she is a female. Now the double XL cover used to be based off of talent and potential but now it's obviously based off of popularity which I get because you know it's all about what artists can we put on the cover to give us the most amount of exposure which then of course leads to money. But here we have Steph Don who's not even that popular outside of the UK and the fact that I am not too familiar with everything she's been doing tells me that she shouldn't even have been on the cover in the first place. If you were gonna put a female rapper on the cover you might as well have put Snow the Product or even Sweetie but yeah I'm really not feeling Steph Dom being on the cover. But let's move on to the next one which is Black Boy JB. Now here we have what we call the Drake effect. You get one collaboration from Drake and you might be the next person who will be on the XXL cover. But on the real though I can't really see why Black Boy JB is even a part of this freshman class. Apart from Look Alive featuring Drake he's really not known for that much at all. And it's even crazier how Look Alive got released in February which is around the time when XXL start picking the artist for the cover. So how exactly are you gonna decide to pick an artist for the cover when they just blew up? And it's even worse because we know that he's on the cover just because of that Drake collaboration. Let's just keep it all the way real. But let's move on to the next artist which is YB and Namir. Here's another artist that I did actually predict was gonna be on the cover in my video that I made about XXL. And yeah I don't think that it is a secret that he was gonna get picked for it. Namir has really been blowing up ever since he dropped Rubbing Off The Paint which wasn't even a year ago which makes me realize that god damn a lot of things can change in one year. But he did continue that hot streak with his The Race remix and then bounce out with that. But let's move on to the next one which is Wi-Fi's Funeral. Now this one is uh, very surprising to me because a lot of people don't even know about this guy. Of course they do now since he is on the cover but you get my point. One thing that's interesting here is Wi-Fi's Funeral doesn't really have a big single like every artist on this list. Now granted someone like Jid is also one of those few people who doesn't have a really big song but of course Jid actually does have a track called Never which is still bigger than anything Wi-Fi has. But let's move on to the next one which is Ski Mask the Slump God. Now XXL you guys did a good thing here. I'm really happy to see Ski Mask the Slump God on the cover because I feel like he really deserves it. He's been really elevating in his career for a while now and he makes really good music. I don't really see why he wouldn't be on it. A lot of people were confused as to why he wasn't on the cover last year and 
And honestly, I just think that was because he wasn't that popping back then. And that's of course in terms of popularity and yeah, he wasn't really that big in that realm. But let's move on to the next one, which is yeah, came in with a sauce, ooh, AKA Lil Pump. Now my dumbass was uh, very convinced that Lil Pump was not gonna be on the cover due to the fact that he's way too big for the cover. And you know what? My dumbass was wrong here. Usually when an artist gets to a point where they feel like they don't quote unquote need the cover, they decline and tell them double XL, I don't need you guys, bye bye. That's what Post Malone did back in 2016 when he got offered to be on the cover and the same thing with Tory Lanez who also declined. But I digress. So back to Lil Pump, yeah, I just thought that he wouldn't be on it because I thought that he would have declined. But you know what? Now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense. To say that Gucci Gang was a big song would be an understatement and the amount of exposure and attention XXL is gonna get just because Lil Pump is on the cover, yeah, that's exactly why he's on the cover. But let's move on to the next one, which is also the last one and that is Trippy Red. So here we have one of the better new wave rappers. The amount of buzz that's been surrounding Trippy Red's name for the past year is undeniable. This is definitely an artist that I'm really happy to see on the cover and I personally feel like he really did deserve it. But all in all, what do I personally think about this cover? Well, let me just say this, Ski Master Slump God, Trippy Red, and Jid. That's all I'm gonna say here. No, but seriously, these are the three leaders of this double XL cover. These guys all have qualities that I feel like every single double XL freshman should have. If we take a look at Jid, this guy is a master at his craft when it comes to lyricism and that's what he does best. Ski Master Slump God is obviously the king of innovation and experimental sounds. And then last but not least, Trippy Red is the melodic god. These three artists clearly outshine every single person on this list and all these guys together are way better than everyone else on the list combined. So that's what I have to say about that. But to wrap this video up, what are my general thoughts surrounding the double XL freshman cover of 2018? I'm honestly gonna have to say that I am disappointed, but then again, that's only the case because I was expecting more from the cover, which is uh, my mistake. Jid, easily the most lyrical rapper on the cover. This guy is the true embodiment of what a rapper should sound like. Smoke Perp is uh, kind of just there. There's not a whole lot of great things I can personally say about him, except his uh, bangers he has a lot of good bangers. Stefflon Don should have uh, not been on the list I'd rather see another female rapper on the cover. Black Boy JB is uh, only on it because of that Drake collaboration let's not kid ourselves. And then YB and Amir the one thing that's super impressive about YB and Amir's case is the fact that things did change extremely fast for him since it hasn't even been a year ago since he blew up. Wi-Fi's funeral is actually a decent rapper he can definitely rap but honestly I'm not too excited about him being on the cover. Ski Mask, the slump god. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you XXL for putting him on the cover because he definitely deserved it. Lil Pump, well Lil Pump is the most popping new wave rapper so I definitely see why he's on it. And then last but not least, Trippy Red. This is also one of those people that I thought really deserved to be on the cover so kudos to XXL. But that's my personal thoughts surrounding the new XXL freshman cover of 2018. But what do you personally think about the cover? Are you a fan of it? Did you think this year's cover was was good? Did you think it was bad? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this. But as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about bringing together people like you who enjoy music and start a discussion on different topics like this. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it, follow me on all my social media accounts. It's on the screen and I'm out.